I believe it's recording. Okay. Don't point it at me. <laughs> okay. I'm just going to, this is going to be about this, so I'll get a little bit closer in. Okay. A little bit closer in. So, uh, what we're going to do here is we're going to do distortion measurements on uh, Dave Garman's, uh, Dave Garman's Marantz 2238B. Uh, this unit has just been repaired, and uh, we're going to check it for distortion and see how it holds up. The distortion rating on it is 0.08% total harmonic distortion, and uh, total harmonic distortion measurements are what we're going to do. We have a distortion analyzer right here. It's a Hewlett Packard 333, and over here we have a spectrum analyzer, and if there's distortion, we'll be able to see it on the spectrum analyzer. So uh, having said that, the very first thing we're going to do is we're going to bring it up. We're going to bring up the output, and if you look at the oscilloscope, we'll bring the output up to 5 volts peak. And at 5 volts peak, it's 1.6 watts. Now if you take a look over at the spectrum analyzer, you'll see that the fundamental frequency is 2 kilohertz. And you can see the hump there, 2 kilohertz. Now having said that, the only thing that we're going to be looking for on this is harmonics. So I'm going to move the trace over to the edge. And uh, if anything pops up that's not the fundamental frequency, we'll find out. This is the distortion analyzer. And the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to set the level here. And so we set the level at uh, full scale right here. And then what I'm going to do is move this over to distortion and I am going to null the fundamental frequency and as I null it you'll see that the needle goes down and we want that needle to get as low as it'll possibly go to null that frequency we want it lower than that we want it a little bit lower than that Let's see if we can get it lower there we go now I'm going to make a distortion measurement at uh, 1.6 watts and the distortion measurement at 1.6 watts is about 0.03 and uh, it's a little bit more than 0 0.03, 0 0.032. The uh, signal generator has a distortion level of uh, 0.02 so actually that's about 0.01 is that distortion level there it's pretty small very small so now we're going to up the power a little bit and if you take a look over at the oscilloscope here we're going to take it up another five peak volts and that will take it to 6.25 watts and then we're going to set the level here down on the distortion analyzer again and uh, once we set that level We're going to null it. There we go. Then we're going to make a distortion measurement there. And that distortion measurement is holding in at 0 0.03 percent distortion which is really 0.01 percent distortion because the uh, frequency generator has 0.02 all by itself you can also see over on the spectrum analyzer here that there are no harmonics showing up now we're going to take the voltage up another five uh, volts peak which will take the power up to 14 watts and uh, we're going to make another distortion measurement We're going to get this up here, move over to distortion, we're going to null the meter. As the meter is nulled, we'll start backing off and taking a look at what the percentage of distortion is. Uh, distortion's even dropped a little bit there at that power setting. And uh, that makes sense because as we look at the spectrum analyzer over here, we see no harmonics. Okay, now we're going to make another measurement, and this measurement is going to be at 25 watts. 
and now this is only rated for 38 watts so we're starting to get towards the upper end right here we're going to take a look and we'll zero the meter out on the set level then we'll move this over to distortion and we'll try and null the fundamental frequency again and there it's nulled well not quite just a minute here oh it's giving me trouble there we go now we'll start backing down on the meter and make a measurement here and now we're measuring up around almost 0 0.03 0 0.028 which is well within the specification and now we're going to take the power up and this time we're going to take it up to 25 watts we're going to set the level on the distortion analyzer again we'll set it for full scale here move it over to distortion we'll move to null the fundamental frequency There we go. And now you can see that we're getting up around 0 0.32, 0 0.032. And uh, 0 0.032 is a little bit higher, but it's still well within spec. And as we look over here at the spectrum analyzer, we'll see no harmonics out here, which is uh, very good. Now we're going to take it up. This is getting to the neighborhood where there can be trouble. We'll go up all the way to now where it's starting to clip and I'm gonna come back down here and set the level and this is at 56 watts the amplifier is only rated for 38 RMS but this is average power so once we have that set we'll go over to distortion and try and null it you'll notice that this time it's probably a little bit harder to null and that's probably as close as we're gonna get And now when we go to measure the distortion, you'll see that on the it's over 3%. And uh, also as you look over at the uh, spectrum analyzer, you'll notice that we have harmonics showing up here. And so we've really gotten to the point where we're driving the amplifier into clipping. If you take a look up here at the oscilloscope, you'll see that there's squares on those uh, sine waves, which is clipping. That's about as hard as you can drive this amplifier. Now I'm going to back it down just a little bit. And we're going to back it down to where it's not clipping. And we're going to take one more measurement here. I'll go over here and we'll try and null this out. load resistors are probably getting real hot back there there we go and as we back down on the meter we're up around 0.04 percent distortion right before it goes into clipping so this amplifier is well within specifications and uh, Go on ahead and show the load resistors in the back of this thing. If you can hold that up over the top. Point it down there, two big green things. Those load resistors right now, you could probably cook an egg on them because they're, they've are they been driven pretty hard. But uh, there you have it. Now I've uh, backed the whole thing down. I uh, The point of this is, is that uh, the amplifier is operating well within specifications of 0.08% distortion. Um, and in fact, if anything, that was a conservative number. It's got better distortion specifications than, uh, uh, and it's old, and it's still got uh, very good, uh, very good distortion characteristics. So that'll be the end of that video. There you go, Dave. It's uh, up and it's running. Now all we have to do is get lights for it.